longer kids out of school. I mean, it was more than a week plus. Uh, this week, no precipitation, but we had the cold this morning, the second coldest start we've had this season. That's three mornings in a row that have been in the 20s. Earlier this week, we had 24. This morning, it was 25, but no threat of 20s tomorrow morning as we'll start off at a balmy 36 degrees. And that is good that we're going to be above freezing because we have moisture on the way. Today, it was clouds. Tomorrow, moisture coming from the southwest and the west. And also, we'll keep an eye on these showers offshore. Those will swoop in tomorrow morning to bring us rain. So that's one change in the past 24 hours. It still looks like the most likely time for rain on Friday is afternoon and evening, but we also could see a few showers in the morning. I'll detail that in just a second, but this looks pretty good. Temperatures in the 40s across central North Carolina are high today in the upper 40s, the warmest day we've had in a while. And it's about two to five degrees warmer right now than where we were yesterday at this time. And with cloud cover, we should be a little warmer overnight. Remember, cloud cover overnight in the winter time kind of wraps you up like a blanket when you go to sleep and you're warmer when you pull that blanket up. Same deal with our atmosphere. So we'll keep the clouds around overnight. So our temperature fall will not be as drastic as it has been. Low 40s through 8, 9, and 10 o'clock. Upper 30s overnight. And that's where we'll hold for Friday morning's commute. However, as you can see, there are small chances of rain for Friday morning. So here's the setup on the surface map. High pressure, which brought us sunshine and helped with the cold temperatures earlier this week, is leaving. So something else will fill the void, clouds, rain, and eventually warmer temperatures. Most of our rain is going to come from the Gulf Coast states. This wintry mess in the Midwest will stay well to our north, but not only are we watching the rain, but we're watching this warm front. It's happened to us a few times so far this month where a warm front comes up from the south, but it doesn't move all the way through our area. So some of us get a lot warmer, some of us only get a little bit warmer, and that's something that's likely going to happen tomorrow. But let's focus on the rain. We'll start it off at midnight tonight. I just want to show you there's that rain to our south. There's the rain out to the west. So we'll put the maps into motion. We'll stop it tomorrow morning for the commute at 6 a.m. A little bit of rain in parts of central North Carolina. The bulk of it's still back to the west. So from 6 a.m., let's go to 9 a.m., still a little bit of rain. You can see western parts of our viewing area have the better chance of seeing that rain. Eastern parts, a little drier. Lunchtime, most of us dry. And we'll keep it that way through the middle of the afternoon and through the evening commute. But that line of showers, possible thunderstorms, still expected to move through later Friday night. Here we are at 9 o'clock in the evening when that line of showers and storms just now moving into western parts of our viewing area. Right on top of central North Carolina, moderate to heavy rain, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but not severe weather in the forecast. This is midnight, 1 a.m., Friday into early Saturday. The good news is at 7 a.m. Saturday, the rain is out of here. Skies are clearing, and we're left with dry and mostly sunny weather for your weekend. So, yes, the rain returns tomorrow, but it's not a washout tomorrow. Late tomorrow night, you're going to have to deal with some showers and thunderstorms. Then dry for the weekend with temperatures in the 50s. So warmer weather has arrived. And it's here to stay. We've got all 50s most of next week with rain set to return later Wednesday and next Thursday, Friday, and next weekend as well. But as you see on the 10-day forecast, no overnight lows in the 20s.